Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix the violin keeps crashing in the mid game and how you can fix this at. So let me directly get into this. Right now if I go over here right now as you can see if I try to play the game I'm getting an error you require, your game requires system restart. I have recently made a video on this you can watch it and also apart from this I'm going to show you how we can fix if a violin is keeps crashing in the mid game and how we can fix this. So the first one is all about make sure that you have set disable full, opt, full screen optimization and run program as an administrator on the game. So to just go over here in the Valorant over here in the desktop, right click over here and go to show more options and go to the right click on this one. You have to select this one over here in the Valorant should be selected. Sorry. So it should be selected and go to the properties. Now from here go to the compatibility. Make sure that you put a check on both the boxes and disable the full screen optimization. And also you have to put a check on both this run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for okay and you have to check. The next one is all about what you need to do is we just need to go over here in the task manager. Over here right click, sorry click on this one and go to the task manager. And right now as you can see there are a lot of things running over here in the background. And all these things are actually utilizing the performance as well. So what you need to do is what you only the one thing that we can do is we just need to go over here search for the Valorant if the Valorant is running or any kind of things related to the Valorant should be removed from here and also you can search for right Vanguard as well. So if the right client is running just right click on this go for the end the task over here as well you have to remove it as well because many things is running in the background and all these things are actually the reason why you are having these kind of freezing mid issues and all those things because these are draining out the performance of our computer and the RAM so when we are trying to launch the game. So moving to the next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure the windows is up to date so just go over here search for the settings over here and go to system settings and go over here to the windows update so just make sure the windows is up to date so if windows is not up to date it is quite important that we need to make sure the windows is up to date for running these kind of games so make sure the windows is up to date as well Moving to the next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card. Sometimes, you know, for these kind of games, you know, you're trying to play the game, you know, if the graphics card is not up to date, most probably you're going to have a lot of trouble. So it is quite important that you have to update it. So there are two ways. One, you can update it manually, which I'm going to show you for both AMD and the users for the NVIDIA as well. So I'll be providing this description in the video so you don't have to worry. That will take you to this link page over here. Now from here, this is for the NVIDIA users. Just go over here. And right now, as you can so you have to select everything related to the credit type so that it's geoforce and you have to over the 15 series you have to select it so based on a pc's configuration so if you're on the windows 11 you have to select windows 11 and if you're on the windows 10 select windows 11 and go for the start search and right now what you need to do is we just need to keep scrolling down you can see the options you can download click on the download now and right now what you need to just go over here download now as well so you can install the latest version so and also if you're on the graphics card over here for the amd you can go to this page as well select everything based on a pieces configuration and once everything has been selected go for the submit and right now if you're on the windows 11 you can download this one and if you're on the windows 10 you can download this one as well so even after trying with these these things if it's still if you're having the trouble we need to make one important step which i usually help with me to fix the issue that is all about we just need to go over here in the right over here you have to go over here in the right game you have to search for the right game like this and you have to open this one so that's going to take you to this and right now what you need to do is just follow the instructions which i'm going to show you so I found this from actually from the Reddit. So that is why I'm going to show you this because this even helped with many users. So what you need to do is just go over here at the top and you have to go over here in the settings. Now from here you can see there is an option to the Valorant. If you go over here, there is an option to repair it. So just repair your game because you know, if any kind of files are corrupted and if all these things can even cause the issue with the crashing, freezing and all those things, just, just make sure you click on the repair options and start to repair. So what happens, so this is going to take a little bit of time. So this is going to cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed. So right now it is going to take, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this part. So unless this is going to take a lot of time, so you have to repair the game and afterwards you have to restart your PC and you have to try and that's going to fix the issue up. So these are the steps in my knowledge and I hope this video is helpful. See you soon next video. Peace out. Bye bye.